What is up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Tuesday morning to you. Welcome back to this series really on the pathway to success, God's success. And we're taking a look at 2 Peter uh, chapter 1, really verse 3 through 11. Really, really profound scriptures where Peter, I think, is trying to set us up for a godly kind of success. And so anyway, let's dive in. Last or Yesterday we were talking about how like everything that we need, God's already given us. Um, in in terms of that pathway to success. But let's read it again. It says, His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Now, this is where Peter starts to give us some of the ingredients to success. He goes, For this reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness to goodness, knowledge, knowledge, self-control, to self-control, perseverance, to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measure, they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And it goes on at verse 10 to say, for if you do these things, you will never fall. Oh, just some good stuff there. So, but today I want to make sure we really do define what I believe success is, because I think we might have some bad definitions. A lot of times we think success is maybe the accumulation of title, the accumulation maybe of wealth, maybe it's the accumulation of even like accolades or whatever. And it's like, ah, careful with that definition. It might lead you down a bad path. Here's another bad definition. I think sometimes we just think that success is the opposite of failure. And this is why we're so hard on ourselves whenever we fail or make a mistake. But really life never works that way. If you don't believe me, go read the Bible. Because everybody that ever accomplished anything for the kingdom of God failed along the way. And so success is not just the avoidance of failure or having never failed. Uh, As a matter of fact, the Bible says a righteous man falls seven times and gets back up. And so really success is about getting back up in life. And so um, I like to think of it like this. This is a great way to think about success is that success is a trajectory, right? A lot of times we think success is a a destination, meaning if I can just get to here, then I would be a success. But the reality is, is that you were a success every day that you were moving on a good trajectory. And when you pull back and look at life, you realize, well, the trajectory is not perfect. It, it has ups and downs. But over the long haul, I want to be on a upward trajectory. And so that's where I really think success is. So for example, like let's say you put a number amount. Oh, well, when I finally make this much money, When I finally have this much money in the bank, then I'll be a success. Well, the reality is, is if I told you, hey, you got a million dollars in the bank, some of you would say, well, yeah, I'm a a success then. But you have to look at the trajectory. If I told you that there was a person who just a few years ago with thousands of dollars uh, had thousands of dollars worth of debt, but man, they worked hard. They were diligent. They, 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 they budgeted everything. They were very creative and they worked so hard. And now they're at a million dollars. We would all say, yeah. But I would say, but look at his trajectory. Because I could show you another person that lived a life where they inherited tens of millions of dollars and wasted and squandered and was stupid and was lazy. And now they only have a million dollars in the bank. And we would say that person has failed. So the point on the map is not success. You're looking at your destination. You're wanting to ask yourself this question. Is my life moving in a positive direction? Is my life moving the way that God wants it to do? Not in some perfect linear progression, but over the long haul, I'm operating on a trajectory that is moving me closer and closer to God's plan for my life. Because really, that is the definition of success. The definition of success ultimately is fulfilling God's plan for my life. Because if I spend my whole life doing something that I'm not called to do, Maybe I went out into the marketplace and I said, hey, look at all the money I made. And God was like, yeah, but I called you to be a pastor in Livermore. Well, in some people's eyes, I might have been a success. But in God's eyes, I would have missed the mark because I would have not fulfilled the purpose that he gave me. And so two big questions you want to wrestle with. Number one is this, what's God's purpose for my life? And am I fulfilling that? And in fulfilling that, am I moving in an upward trajectory? Because this is what I think Peter's going to help us accomplish over the next few days and a couple of weeks here, is helping us stay on that trajectory that keeps us moving closer and closer to God's best for our life. Can I get an amen to that? Church, I love you. God bless you. And I will see you tomorrow.